Uh oh. See scrabble of hooves in the dark room. Well, who can the fuck can the Minotaur see? Oh. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Oh no. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh, oh. whoa. <laughs> okay, his eyeballs came out. <laughs> that is so violent. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and you don't even see anything. I don't think they could show that one. But the thing is, so if it's literally that dark in there, how can the Minotaur see? Because every Animal creature can see at night, man. <sighs> I, mean, I mean, even creatures that can see, it, like you know, in the dark, they still need some light to see. They just can, they can see better with less light than humans can. Caught in the dark, Alexander. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like how like a cat's eyes like glow in the dark. They don't actually glow in the dark. That's more of an illusion than anything else. And it's like if you see a cat's eyes in the dark, their pupils are fucking huge. It's because they, oh, yeah, it's, it's but... because they can open their pupils much farther, so they can see with much less light than humans can. He knew he was there. Aha! A torch. We can light it. There we go. Hooray! And suddenly Hooray. it becomes very bright in here. Okay. Right. So it doesn't come now that you light the lamp, right? Yeah, he okay. he only comes if you wait too long and don't light the lantern. Right. Yeah, we have a different maze to trepies through. Yes, yeah, so there's two actually. First floor and second. They should have, like, you know, actually, like, made the maze of the map actually look like something. Like in, you know, like the first Legend of Zelda game, where <laughs> the levels actually... Make it look like, You know, uh, look like something. Uh, uh, and in the second quest, they like... actually spell Zelda. My balls. I mean, what? My balls. My balls! This, yeah, this is where we got completely lost. When we mapped it and we realized that there was another level to it, we were like, oh man! Motherfucker! Had to get another piece of crap. Ooh, what's this? Gee, this doesn't look totally inconspicuous, does it? It's beautiful. Very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall. Yes, because it's not hiding something that's in plain sight. Alexander does not see anything unusual about the tapestry. The tapestry itself is much too heavy to use to move. Yeah, I love how it's like, oh, it's not hiding anything whatsoever behind there, even though it's totally obvious that it is. Yeah, what the heck? But Alexander's not very bright. Apparently not. No. Even though he can dispose of a wizard. He's more physical than anything. Let's get physical! Physical! I wanna get physical! Jesus, <laughs> it's not Michael Jackson references today, it's Olivia Newton-John! <laughs> oh my god, that's like the second time we've mentioned her. Yes. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll probably break that break out in a Michael Jackson song soon enough. We always do. But, <laughs> we totally always just do. Worse, are we going in a circle? What the hell's going on Sort here? of. Uh. The second floor is a pain in the ass. I love how like, the center doors are like much shorter than the other ones. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, is this floor gonna fall out? What the hell? Nope. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again, this time so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. Uh, hello? Mm. Noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Yeah, the east wall? There's only one wall in here. If you, if you come in here without the hole in the wall, I think the Minotaur will come too. Oh. Uh oh. This is well, the... you can't do it without this, right? Yeah, you need the hole in the wall here. He, the Minotaur will kill you in this room <laughs> if you don't have it. Puts the hole in the wall in the room. He trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Ew. Bleh. I could totally make a joke there, but I'm gonna refrain. God. He pierces the sees? hole in the wall. He is just into the room. Motherfucker! Wah, wah. Or is it? Ooh. Nice ass. <laughs> yeah, Stay. because that tapestry was so inconspicuous, huh? Not another room at all, so that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. He's incredibly stupid! Yes, because the switch was right behind where we felt it, it in the right first there. place! Just felt around for it. Yes, and we were in that room five minutes ago! Oh no, wait, there he goes! No, 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 uh, no! The hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. But how can he see through himself? Probably just got frightened by the noise. Oh no, is he gonna be able to get home? No. Oh, Alexander, he left him in here. 
Good job. To your poor little guy. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to figure out. Let's go around the other way. Let's go in a Animal big giant welfare. circle. Alexander is a bastard. Well, considering what we, we saw what he did to Dick Butt, <laughs> kicking him well, around Dick and yanking Dick his Butt fur. Deserves and... Dick Butt deserves everything he gets. That's how it works. Wish you could, like, catch the bat. And, like, <laughs> and the do bat, what? And get the, the bat with, like, give you hints and shit. <laughs> Umbrella! Maybe we, maybe we could catch the rat. The rats talk. Or well, at least it did in King's Quest V. Maybe it could tell us the way to go. Oh, God, this is so boring! Nah, this is great. <laughs> I'll sing some more. They should have they, 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 they had like Easter egg like you know like as an Easter egg like graffiti like randomly appearing on the walls. That's what they should have had. <laughs> they put like Kilroy was here or some other obscure shit like on the wall. It just as like a random chance on each room that there would be graffiti there. That would be cool. But no. <laughs> no. Bastards. This game doesn't have like nearly as much Easter eggs as it no, should. No, this one's really doesn't have that. I don't even think it has that many. Like they're all like, in the pawn shop is where they are. Yeah, and there's a couple of things you can do like later on, but eh, I don't know if I'd call it an Easter egg. It's kind of just like an optional thing. Well, at least, at least in the pawn shop, it makes fun of itself. Yeah, the pawn shop is like the best place. This looks really. Alexander, you were just here five minutes ago, dude. I know. Click! I don't feel anything! <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> He's an emo! He doesn't feel anything! Oh god! Yes, the hidden latch that is behind the totally not hidden la ha tapestry that's sitting right there. Oh god, what's gonna be in here? Let's go inside! Alexander? Thank you. Uh, hello? Okay. <laughs> Oh god. No, I beg of you please, don't hurt me. Yeah, like that ever works. Oh good job. Yes, drug eyes are useless! <laughs> I can't speak to save my life. <laughs> it's the Minotaur, and he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. Oh really? Who the fuck else could it be? It was your mom. Michael Jackson? <laughs> okay, there we go. We mentioned him. Excuse me. Uh, I demand the release of that maiden this instant, you fiend. Why would you say excuse me? Good going, Alexander. That'll work. Lady Celeste looks wildly around the room and sources the strange voice and spots Alexander. Yes, because apparently they didn't get the Minotaur's attention. God. <laughs> Alexander's voice is not very loud. You there, human. Help me. Help. Well, you didn't have to call me human. You know, you could have been a little nicer about it. Uh oh. Who dares a turboiler? Arr! Housekeeping! <laughs> <laughs> Try something, Alexander, quick! I ask you to release your captive or, or suffer the consequences, huh? That's right, oh, he's my... gonna jizz on you, good sir! Oh my god, you are dead, Alexander. <laughs> you are dead. Arr! Never! You die, coming! Why is everyone in this game so racist? Oh, what is it, man? As the Minotaur advances in attack, Alexander slowly backs away. Oh no! Uh-oh. see where this is going. Until he can back away no more! Gee, I wonder what this is with this totally inconspicuous. How many times have I said that word? Fire Pit is doing right here! Gee, this couldn't possibly have any significance whatsoever. Well, we know what to do. Now, now we're two oh. gentlemen! That's your line. Looks like he's gonna take like a giant shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cow shit. Cow dumb. Right on the floor. Alright, what do we got? Well, he's Ooh. a bull, so let's get a scarf. Ooh, which is here we totally go. short, which totally looks more like a handkerchief now. Alexander, his back inches from the fiery pit, tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen's scarf. Look here, you bully. Nice bright red. Oh my god. This is really gonna work. Yeah. Um. 
little known uh, fact here. It's not actually red that makes bulls charge. It's because they piss them. It's because they piss them off beforehand, and it's the waving yeah. motion that actually gets them like fully enraged. So it has nothing to do with the color red. The matadors just use the color red just because it's flashy for the, in the people they're entertaining. Not Cows because the bulls like it. Just letting you know. What? Cows are colorblind. Oh no! No, oh, you die! <laughs> I pooped. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, how did that really happen? <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Minotaur drops from inside amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's like Star Wars Episode Three. <laughs> oh no! Even harm, Lady Celeste. Are you all right? No, I'm just tied up right here against this altar. You know, I'm doing perfectly fine. No, I am not all right. I assume you do not intend me to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. Yeah, oh, you tell God. him. You tell him, lady. Thanks for being grateful. Well, oh. she is kind of tied up here. I mean, he. Of course he, not. He, oh, sorry. You, you would Alexander think Alexander doesn't know how to deal with women. Well, you think he'd be gentlemanly enough to, you know, try to, un you know, be trying to untie her while while he's asking these questions? He doesn't know how to do any of these things. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if you give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. Uh. Uh, I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Yeah, she, she, she's desperate to give Alexander his reward. <laughs> LOL. She seems like a snotty bitch. I don't want anything from this chick. Oh, alright. Uh, I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we go. Well, at least if she's offering, she's cheaper than a prostitute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alexander, what are you doing? <laughs> Her? Her? <sighs> Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. Uh huh. Oh, we got a present. That's very uh generous. Mm. Yeah, that. Can I touch your boobs instead? Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? Okay, well. well at least she's actually wearing shoes, unlike the rest of them. Like the other people of your kind, you're just very polite, aren't you? Gotcha. Very polite. What? They were standing out here the oh, whole look, time? Oh look, it's Edgar Allan Poe! Hi! Oh no! The winged one guards, bored with the pointless leading, <laughs> are startled by the sound of a rock moving against rock. So why rock why do they have to, like, guard the door if it's, like, locked and closed? If they have to, like, wait until to make sure he's dead first or something? I have no idea. What kind of bullshit yeah. is that? Burp. And look, the exit leads us right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. How convenient. How fucking convenient. Even though we drop down a floor which is like ten feet above us, and it's like two feet below the door. Lady Celeste, bid thee well? Oh, yeah, she just came out of the minister's place. She's fine. I'm quite well, thanks to bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellects. Yeah, you tell uh, those assholes. I'm standing right here. You tell those assholes. Yes, my lady. Oh, yeah, she totally emasculated you two. Now bring him along. I'm going home. What a fucking snotty bitch. I'm so sorry that you're on your period, and that's probably why the Minotaur took you in the first place. <laughs> you cunt. Jesus. What's with these people? See, they're, they're not, not wearing any about. shoes! What the hell? They don't need to, they're always flying. But the other ones, they wear, they wear like, Greek sandals. <laughs> I see you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. Oh, that's nice. Thanks yeah, that's well. asshole-ish. You're only thanking us because you think, you know, you think you should, rather than actually thanking us out of the bottom of your heart. Jesus, See what if I it. ever rescue your children ever again. God. I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. Yeah, because you care more about that than your fucking daughter. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. Hey, look, he's wearing the Wu-Tang symbol on his necklace. He must be down with the Wu. I was gonna say that earlier, but I'm oh, like, nah, yeah. I think I was reaching. He likes the <laughs> the Rizza. <laughs> it is also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders from the contrary from the Crown. My god, that guy's an asshole. But there, my obligations to you end. Uh, thanks. I have no uh, love for El Hazred, because he's an asshole. But he is my liege, and the Princess Lucifer trusts him and wishes to wed him. No, she Ew. didn't say that. No, dude. She These totally did not just say that. They're being brainwashed. My gods, we'll take you to the Oracle now. 
When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the city of the Wigan ones and never return. Never! I don't know who you are or what you want here. You never asked for his name, you fucking asshole! <laughs> you know, and if you think about it, if you look back, Alexander never actually properly introduced himself to these people. He never Didn't once told them. Didn't give him a word them, in edgewise, though. Yeah, but I mean, he's, he's, he's like, my name is Alexander. This is what I'm here for. And, like, he just, like, nobody ever asked for their name. Like, what the hell? Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can rant. I thank you, Lord Azor. Uh, I will respect your wishes, you fucking asshole. Go flip him off your back boobs, Alexander. Back boobs. <laughs> Back boobs. <laughs> Everyone can probably hear me. What? Everyone can probably hear me like screwing and sunscrewing the cap of my water bottle for the past five damn minutes. <laughs> Hail to the great oracle. Lord Azur sends this wingless mail. Oh, thanks. It appears that he solved the Cliffs of Logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. I bet you've seen his back boobs that are coming. Yep. So this is the one that wants my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Well, apparently if you can see what's going on, I'm sure you can see what's in my head. <laughs> Miss Cleo, tell me the future. <laughs> I'm not doing that voice. <laughs> Princess Kasima, whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Jeez, yeah. look at his boobs. They're taking over his shirt, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit about what's happening to this kingdom and it's all falling apart. Tell me about my woman. Yeah, that's all he wants to know about. about her. Yeah, no, I'm gonna give her a good voice because she, she's one character who deserves a dignified voice, and somebody in this game has to have one. <laughs> no, they don't. Ah, of course, the princess. Oh, I knew that. That explains my images. Doi. Let us see what we can see. Okay. Game. Game. That totally doesn't even look like her. I see a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. She is a rose set amidst bitter thorns. Yeah, because that doesn't sound like, like every RPG princess or whatever ever. <laughs> it is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. And yours to try to redeem her. I guess it's your fate to have that 80s metal hairband rock <laughs> style thing. Because <laughs> that hair that you've got going on, lady, is killer. She's a fan of David Bowie. She's trying to emulate him. I guess so. <laughs> how? How do I redeem her? <laughs> um, Alexander, go get yourself a porno magazine. It'll show you how to do that very nicely. Okay? <laughs> Fate is not like the cut of the blade, young one, but rather like the meter to pass formed when a hammer cracks ice. And I just smacked my microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will tell you what I can, but what actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle, a struggle against the Dark Force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Dun, dun, so, dun. so I suggest you trip me a case to the planet of Dagobah, and consult with Master Yoda, and become a Jedi Master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, that was lame. They don't let people in that have back boobs. <laughs> Who must I fight? Alexander, you're a fucking moron. Great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. Oh, please. Which means it could be pretty much fucking everybody! It could be anyone. <laughs> I mean, of course we know who it is. But before the final struggle, I see an infiltration. A dangerous game of hide-and-seek in corridors filled with enemies. So basically, I have to go play Pac-Man. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> the risks are high, but it's the only way to reach the one you seek. Yep, Pac-Man needs some Pac-Man poon. <laughs> <laughs> there is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. Much? Like how many points you have at the end of the game. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Uh, you didn't see me uh, touching myself the other day, did you? Oh, I hope not. I see your back boobs, good sir. Who the hell can't see those? <laughs> I know! Oh no! Oh, such pain. <sighs> I see two restless spirits crying out for revenge. What? What the fuck is that? 
These shades could help you destroy the dark force, if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. Yeah, that's what the game's like giving you a fucking walkthrough right now. <laughs> They're like, here's where to go next, dumbass. <laughs> well, sort of. It sort of does. Yeah. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Who the hell are those people? Yeah, I know. What, what the fuck? Who's that? Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. I can't really tell. They're pretty much bipolar assholes. <laughs> <laughs> like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. Okay. There is nothing more I can do for you except to give you this. Herpes! Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. The vial. It is water from the sacred pool. That and my blessing go with you. Uh-huh. And by the way, here's the number to my 900 hotline. Please get people to call. <laughs> Please give me the number to your hairdresser. Thank you, great oracle. <sighs> Hooray! Yay! She's probably one of the ones in the game that who isn't a giant douche. Just to let you know, I don't. I do have to go soon because I have to catch a ferry. I don't have all night, all morning, all day, all anything. All night long. <laughs> all night long. All night. All night. All night long. Okay. Game. Save. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Fucking fairies. Yeah, <laughs> and I totally spelled that. No, 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 fairies. no. Fairies. <laughs> God damn it, game. Ah, you balls it up. 